Hello, Sagittarius. Okay, this reading is for you. Welcome, if you're new to my channel. And my messages resonate. Not all of my messages will resonate at one point, but feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and risings for more clarity on your situations. And please like and subscribe. I appreciate all of your supports. Okay. Sagittarius. We're starting off your energy with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I, when I was meditating on your energy, I felt like this was a very um, exciting time for you. Uh, you are very content at this moment with the eclipse coming on October 25th. And actually, there's another eclipse on November the 7th. So they're like one right after another. So I think that with this energy, this is going to be a very exciting time. You're going to be busy, um, but you're actually going to find a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, a lot of um, a lot of things that are kind of fulfilling for you. And I'm actually loving this energy right now, Sagittarius. This may be money coming in. Uh, this may be just overall fulfillment. You're having happiness. This is a very blissful time for you. And I'm kind of feeling that energy for you right now. Okay. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. So I actually feel like you were moving from this place, but I, I, I'm not feeling like you're moving from disappointment. I feel like you're moving into a more fulfilling time. You're moving into your contentment. You're moving into a more fulfilling um, time in your life. Excuse me a moment. My eyes are itchy. Okay, and yes, you have the King of Pentacles. Wow, okay. The Temperance. Yes, I'm liking this already. And you have the Page of Swords. Okay. So, yeah, what I'm seeing in this reading right now, what I'm seeing is you have, you you are a hopeful spirit, Sagittarius. You're very hopeful in your situation. You're finding balance and harmony in your life right now. And I feel like you're actually moving towards your fulfillment. He's moving towards the, uh, the Nine of Cups. Um, and this is going to be a very prosperous, very, uh, very blissful time. You're going to find a lot of happiness, a lot of, and I feel like that you're, you're actually receiving what you need at the moment. Um, this could also be money coming in in large amounts for you. Because you have the King of Pentacles as well. So I feel like that you may <laughs> get out, Kobe. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. He wanted to make a move. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you are, you have come into your own. You are a boss. You are a leader. You're making the wise choices in your life. And I feel like with this page of swords here at the end, that you have you, 
you've made the right decisions. Um, you know the truth on the situations. You're not letting anybody tell you anything different. Yeah, you have the hierarchies as well. Okay. So, I feel like you are the teacher in this situation. Or you're actually being led by your higher source, by your higher power. You're, you're actually letting the universe guide you. You're, you're making good decisions. Definitely. Okay. Okay. So people actually see you as someone to go to. People see you as someone who, who will give them good advice on what they need to know. And I feel like that actually makes you someone to run to in their time of need. I'm actually feeling like um, you're like the source of a lot of good knowledge for the people in your life. Um, if this is work, you're the person they go to when they have any questions. But I feel like um, you're actually standing out. People are taking notice of the things that you're doing and they kind of want to replicate that. They want to do what you're doing in order to be more successful. They want to, they want to have what you have, Sagittarius. So they are kind of looking to that. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. And maybe you don't see yourself that way. Maybe you don't see yourself as someone that has all the answers that, that someone needs. But I feel like you, you're kind of not seeing yourself in the right way because <laughs> you are, you're more than what you think you are, Sagittarius. You are a force. And I'm kind of feeling that. With the Two of Pentacles, I'm feeling like you're very balanced. You are kind of able to juggle the things in your life successfully and you're able to set good priorities and make the good decisions. And I'm kind of feeling that for you. Yeah, the Four of Swords. So I, I feel like... Hmm, You're able to, and you have the five of swords on the bottom. So I, I feel like that maybe the way you see yourself is not the way that other people see you. Um, But I feel like you're kind of going through a evolution of the situation. You're gaining more power. You're gaining more clarity. And I don't believe you even see it. I don't believe that you know it. But I, I can say that other the way other people, the other people, the way other people see you, other people see you as very successful. Other people see you as a book full of knowledge that they can actually run to when they have questions and they need answers. And I, I actually see you as that. I see you as someone who, who has it together, someone who's really working on the things that matter to them. You're shining really bright this month, Sagittarius. I'm kind of feeling that for you. 
I, I want to get another card. Um, kind of feeling that I need another card. Yes, the High Priestess. You are definitely, and you have the Four of Wands on the bottom. So yeah, this this is actually very beautiful. This is actually contentment. This is you flying high on your success. I believe that you have full trust in yourself. You have full trust in your abilities and your capabilities. And you have everything that you need. You may not have everything that you need, or what? Well, no, let me rephrase it. You may not have everything that you want, but I'm feeling like you have everything that you need at the moment. I'm feeling like you are at a time of your life when you can kind of rest and recover and not have to worry so much. Okay, let's get some clarity on this. Let's clarify these cards a bit, see what they have to say. But I really get that you are you are illuminating with success. Well, wow, okay. Oh, sorry, they're just jumping out at me now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it can be a burden on you um, because you feel like that you have to be everything to everybody. But um, I feel like this is something that you're kind of, um, this isn't something that's new to you. I feel like this is something that uh, actually makes you, you Sagittarius. And you are, you're a leader. You are very courageous. And people see that. People are drawn to that energy. And I, I feel like you're not overburdened, but you're kind of um, feeling the weight of some of the things that are brought to you. Um, but I feel like this this is something that, that you can handle with ease. I feel like you are you are very powerful and bold and assertive. And um, I, I feel like that all of this has actually not been such a burden but it's actually brought a lot of happiness to you as well i feel a lot of happiness and harmony for you right now sagittarius and if you're not feeling that way I, I, this is something that that's coming to you this is something that maybe if you've been going through it that this is the happiness that's coming towards you now. Okay. The Ten of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of standing back watching. You're watching as things unfold. That's the energy that I'm getting. I'm not getting this is a really, really bad card. I'm getting that that you're just like standing there watching. And the two of pentacles. Okay. Are you standing watching um, decisions that are made? Choices? You're kind of contemplating the choices for your next move. That's what I'm kind of feeling. You've also got the Queen of Swords on the bottom. 
Um, so I feel like you are contemplating where you should go next. Let's see. Let me get a card for this Ten of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Can you tell me more about this? Okay, two cards want to come out. Okay. Oh, and you have the the Nine of Cups on the bottom. Okay, so two nines want to come out and an Ace. So I feel like this is something that's going to bring you great joy. This is something that's going to bring you independence. Um, if you're single, this is something that's going to bring you a new love. This is something that you have kind of ma manifested. This is something that you've grown um, out of your situation. And I feel like it's going to be very beautiful. With the Nine of Cups energy on the bottom, wow. Okay, make your wish, Sagittarius. This is actually the month for it. You actually are, like I said, you have the two eclipses right now um, that are coming very soon. You, October 25th and then again November 7th. So yeah, it's going to be a very, um, very intense time for you. Let's see, Let's see what the universe has to say. What are the messages from the universe? What messages do we have? Messages from the universe, please. When I lean towards love, I am led. Okay, so this definitely may be new love coming in. Um, this may be something that is actually growing to the next level, I think. With the, the two nines, this is something that is blossoming into something more. Okay, let's get another message. Okay, here we go. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Yeah, so if you're looking for direction, if you're looking which way to go, I think that um, maybe meditating and realigning your chakras will actually help with that. Oh, wow. Let's see. We're not going to take all of those. Let's see. There is nothing sexier than an authentic truth. Okay. So, yes, Sagittarius, I think that you're, you're very appealing at this time. You're very attractive. I think that a lot of people are actually really drawn to you. You have this magnetic, this magnetic feeling about you. You kind of attract people. And when I accept love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Okay. Yes. And I think that's a beautiful message. Now let's take a look at the chakras. Let's see what they have to say. Since... Maybe you need to focus on realigning yourself. Let's see what chakra you should focus on. Okay. Impartiality. I know I'm not saying that right, so please forgive me. Um, but yeah, it looks like choices, the choices that you're making. And I 
think you should ground yourself. Um, maybe meditate, rejuvenate yourself, um, pray on the ways of aligning yourself to feel more grounded. Uh, come back down to earth. And complacency. Okay. Great message, Sagittarius. All right. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And I will see you on the next one. Love and light. Many blessings.